In this tutorial, you will learn how to add a new company to AutoEntry, configure a Sage 50 company to integrate with AutoEntry, download, install, and configure the AutoEntry Sync app to integrate your AutoEntry company with Sage 50 Cloud Canadian Edition, and describe some of the necessary conditions for a successful integration. Let's get started and add a new company to our account. When you log in to your AutoEntry account, a list of the companies you have created displays. We will add a new company. To start, click the Add Company button at the top of the screen. On this page, the only mandatory fields AutoEntry needs are the top five fields. The billing account defaults to the account you're currently logged in as. If you are an invited user to another user's billing account address, you will see both your email address and that of the billing account holder. Ensure the correct account is chosen, as this is the account that will be charged for this company going forward. Let's enter a company name, in our case, Universal Construction Limited. We select a country, Canada in our case. The currency defaults to Canadian dollar, but it could be modified as needed. Select the date format you would like to use. In our example, we will use a month, day, year format. Optionally, you may add one or several notification email addresses. If you use this field, AutoEntry will automatically send notifications when documents are uploaded. The Notify Uploader option may be used if multiple users upload documents to AutoEntry to let them know that their files are ready. In the Mailbox section, AutoEntry automatically generates mailboxes for various document types. These mailboxes allow you to forward documents, such as invoices you receive from your vendors. You may customize these email addresses if desired. Finally, the accounting software section includes some default options about your accounting software integration, which can be updated at any point after the company is created. Please refer to the company settings video to learn more about these settings. Let's click Create Company to confirm. The company now appears in the list. Note that at this point, it is not yet integrated with your accounting software. To integrate this company with a Sage 50 company, we need to configure our Sage 50 company and to install and set up an auto entry sync app. Let's configure our Sage 50 company first. Auto entry will need credentials to access your Sage 50 data, and we recommend configuring a new user for auto entry. Under Setup, select Setup Users and type your sysadmin password. You will then see an Add User option. Note that if this option is grayed out, you may first need to assign a password to the sysadmin user. Let's click Add User. We type the username, auto entry in our case, and we assign a password. When adding this user, two options need to be activated. Read Write Access for third-party products and Full Accounting Rights. In addition, you should ensure that this user's language is set to English, regardless of the language you normally use. Then click OK. We can now close this window. You will also need to know the location of your company file. The location can be found under File and Properties. Let's close this window as well as the Sage 50 program. Now that the Sage 50 company is configured, we will install the AutoEntry Sync app. Let's get back to AutoEntry, where our newly created company appears in the list. Select the company, then click Integrate on the left hand side. A list of compatible accounting solutions displays. We click Connect next to Sage 50 Canadian Edition. On this page, a link allows us to download the AutoEntry Sync app onto our PC or server. Additional information is available on this page. Let's click Download Installer. Once the download is complete, open it. We agree to the license terms and conditions and we click Install. If prompted, allow the installation to continue. Let's click Next. Two options are available when installing this app, as a Windows service, which is the default option, or as a console application. 
If you're installing this app directly on the machine where the data is stored on the C drive, select the Windows Service option. In other cases, such as if you're accessing your data via a network, or if your data is not saved on the C drive, select the Console Application option. Note that the app only needs to be installed once, even if you have multiple workstations. Please refer to the Auto Entry Sync app, Console vs. Service Application Help article to learn more about the different installation options. In our case, we use the default option, then we click Install. Once the install completes, click Finish and close the installer. Use the newly created icon on your desktop to open the Sync app or find the Sync app in your Start menu. Log into the app using your usual auto entry credentials. Your company list should now appear. Locate the company that you would like to connect and click Connect on the right hand side. Under Accounting Software, select Sage 50 Canada. In the window below, navigate to the location of the company file you would like to connect to. Select your Sage 50 file with the extension .sai. On the right hand side, type the Sage 50 username that you created for auto entry, as well as the password. Choose your Sage 50 version in the drop down menu if it is available. We can then click Connect to auto entry. The connection was successful, and you can now find an option to disconnect the company if you ever need to end the integration. Let's return to auto entry where the Connect company page is still displayed. If we refresh the page, we can now see that the company is connected to Sage 50 Canada. We also have an option to disconnect here. If at any point you make significant changes in Sage 50, click Resync Data. This process will resync customers, vendors, categories, tax codes, and cost centers from Sage 50. Additional information about the sync status is displayed on this page and can be consulted at any time. Finally, let's discuss some conditions to keep in mind to ensure a successful integration. When Auto Entry connects to Sage 50, it will connect as a user. As such, you will need to ensure that you're working in multi-user mode. If your Sage 50 version does not include multi-user mode, you will need to close Sage 50 prior to syncing data with Auto Entry. Additionally, if you're using Sage 50 version 2021.1 or earlier, with remote data access, you will need to pause the remote data access service prior to syncing data with auto entry. If you are using Sage 50 version 2021.2 or newer, there is no need to pause the service. Congratulations, you now know how to add a new company to auto entry and how to integrate your company with Sage 50 Cloud using the auto entry sync app.